There are a lot of people taking photos these days, but there are not a lot of people who actually print their photos. Not only do I print photos, but I sell photos. And so I thought we would take a look today at uh, my premium version of a print, which is a silver gelatin fiber-based print on Barita paper. This is an old-fashioned darkroom style print done digitally now, but it's a special thing where they print a digital file onto photographic paper. Now, first let's talk about what a silver gelatin print is because there are a few kinds of uh, silver gelatin. One is the RC print, which is uh, in the old days, the old darkroom days, was your more affordable kind of paper, your sort of work-a-day black and white photo paper. And then there was the fiber-based paper. And this is what I'm talking about. It's a higher end paper. And of course, in those days, there were a lot of varieties of kinds of fiber-based paper. There was glossy, there was matte, um, there was the Barita, and what we're looking at here is the Barita surface paper. And what I want to closely pay attention to is the beautiful contrast, the lovely surface texture of the paper, and how the light shines on it. And that's what you'll see me doing here when I'm sort of rolling the paper around trying to catch the light. I'm trying to show you the, the sheen, the uh, sort of lustrous light quality and uh, what the surface of the paper actually looks like because it's truly distinctive and even though you can print with an inkjet printer on a, an actual Barita uh, inkjet paper in my opinion this is so much nicer so much deeper so much richer uh, this is the real deal and um, that's why I call these museum quality prints because I have them printed in New England a place that does actual black and white prints for museums and uh, it's not cheap it's not cheap to me and it's not cheap to my customers and it's uh, not fast. Um, a print of this size is a 16 inch by 24 inch print takes up to uh, three weeks and that's including the, a period to approve a proof and what we're looking at here is the actual proof. What they've done is print the full image or almost the entire image small so you can see everything and then they've printed a section of the photo next to that on the same sheet of paper. And um, I basically wanted to get the actual print into the mail as quickly as possible because it does take a while. So I thought I would just analyze the uh, and look at the proof, which is on the same paper and of the same quality. I had a few concerns about this when I was making the image. One is I opened up the shadows a little bit and I was worried about grain or noise and um, really was not a problem in this print. I couldn't really detect any. And I was also a little concerned about uh, the grading on that blue sky. The day that I visited this house, and this is Riverlore Mansion in Cairo, Illinois, built in 1865 by a riverboat captain named William P. Halliday. And, um, you know, I was there on a sunny day, even though I was shooting fairly early in the morning. And this is the kind of light I don't normally prefer. It's sort of bright light, deep shadows. Um, so I was kind of concerned about opening those shadows up too much. There wasn't a whole lot of noise in the shadows, and I was concerned about that blue sky, which in this photo looks like a gradient, darker to lighter. And we'll see in a minute. Um, I think I focused in on it here at some point. You can see that it's smooth. There's no banding. There's no, uh, you know, the blue channel can often be noisy. There's not much noise in there. Just beautiful. Now, for comparison, I wanted to show my standard uh, offering, which is an inkjet print, uh, pigment print on 100% cotton paper. As you can see here, it's no shine whatsoever. And I love these also, but uh, in my opinion, the silver gelatin is the bomb. Hope you learned something here. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.